Hi, this is Korn Ogart from NoGo, and this is the third video of three uh, to show you how or introduce you to how the Mauritius machine works. And uh, I'm in the middle of showing how uh, the, the Danish uh, application process for a building permit uh, is constructed in the um, Mauritius machine. And uh, we were now at uh, the signing step. So I will show you now that uh, uh, we have automatically generated a signing step and uh, what you see here is uh, familiar to Danes, it's uh, the signing step of, uh, of the so-called NEM ID or Easy ID uh, and uh, the application will automatically generate the, the content for signing and it's a lot of things that are structured here, uh, it's a big thing that you sign including uh, a lot of uh, your data uh, and uh, the files that you have submitted and I submitted one the plan of the roof and the way it is constructed is if you if we take it from the top you will notice that it has included applicant uh, a group called applicant and the applicant is a private person yes uh, and uh, that yes uh, was automatically generated from uh, the fact that we have put an XM here or it's the X that does it actually so um, uh, at a certain point I told the system that I was a person, a private person, and that got, gets reflected in the signature. So I'll have to sign that data as well. Now uh, there's also an X and M in company, but company is irrelevant, so it does not show it. Uh, so this XM means if it is relevant, it will be shown as an and extracted to um, to the um, uh, the signature. There are some X's here as well, and only one of which is relevant. And let's see which one is application. So it it has uh, in the system it has uh, found out that it is an application. And uh, to show you what where it got the text from, it takes the label text of the field and shows it. And uh, you can see here that in English this uh, column has the label text application. Now it's uh, this column is relevant and the other two are not relevant so therefore it only shows this one and it has the value yes and <coughs> it's a value that has been uh, computed by the system from your data. Uh, so it can be three application levels either you don't need to apply for anything or you need to report it or it's an application and in this case it is an application. And then uh, you, there are more. There's more data that you need to supply there, and all the XMs uh, make uh, the, that data appear in the uh, extract, uh, which is to be signed. And uh, in the previous uh, videos, I uh, filled my first name and empty middle name and, and last name, and these uh, are data elements, and the X and M make them appear, uh, and that's what we see here. So in that way, we automatically uh, construct uh, an electronic signature, something which our competitors will need to code uh, and spend uh, immense amount of time uh, coding. Now it's time to switch to the caseworker. Uh, so I, I uh, submit the, the application now, and I can see what the caseworker does, but it's uh, wide only. So I will uh, not be allowed to uh, execute these steps down here. Uh, they are for the caseworker to execute. So it's time to switch to the caseworker. Now the caseworker uh, conversely can uh, do things but can only see the application as well. So if I want to see uh, the, uh, the electronic signature, uh, actually currently uh, it will uh, think that it is irrelevant because this window is uh, old so I have to refresh it and uh, when I refresh it it gets the latest status uh, of the workflow. Uh, and then uh, when I have gotten that, uh, I will be able to see uh, uh, the digital or load the digital step. It's because in the meantime, uh, the applica applicant told the system that he had uh, a, an electronic signature and it's only when you have one that you can load the step. So now it's no longer gray when I hover above it and I can select it, but it was white, uh, meaning it is read only. So I'll only be able to see the signature, not carry it out. And the way it works uh, for a signature is that, uh, that uh, it automatically generates an extract similar to what you sign, but you can't sign it. So the, uh, the, the read-only version of an, a signature step would be to just see the sign input. 
and uh, and that will s at the same time uh, I get to show you how we uh, construct automatically uh, extracts that could be printed uh, and in this case uh, it shows the same things as will be signed but you can't sign it uh, but the case worker can decide the case worker uh, uh, will uh, let's uh, look at the f it closes by the way we uh, had we have enclosed the plan of the roof you can see the check mark here so the case worker can in this case load that, that step as well also as read only uh, and uh, you will notice that I can now uh, get the file if I want it uh, but uh, I cannot upload or change it um, and uh, I cancel the I don't want to get it now it's an irrelevant file but uh, what the case worker will be able to do is uh, is the things that the that uh, the applicant cannot do, like for instance I can check uh, different laws. Here we have the Danish name of the law, law about planning, and the case worker has to uh, check that it is uh, complied with. So I check that and press apply, and uh, uh, we could send a notification to the applicant, but. Uh, the applicant can also, if he has time. Uh, see what happens uh, on these steps. So if I select the law about planning, um, then uh, I will notice uh, it's wide, so it's read only, and uh, I can see now it has been completed, and I can see that it has gotten a check mark, meaning that the case worker has checked it and uh, the law is abided to. And finally, uh, the um, uh, the case worker will make the decision about the construction and. Uh, uh, it's similar to what you just saw in that uh, it's only the case worker that can do it and once he has done it it will uh, it will uh, appear as a read only field to the applicant and the way that has been designed is similar to uh, the other steps uh, it's just uh, you go down to uh, let's take the decision about uh, the case is far down. There's a lot of internal stuff that the case worker uh, or the case will have to go through in the municipality. And uh, if we have uh, here's the law about planning, and then we go down and have a decision after consultation, make decision on the construction. And you saw that there were two check marks on that field, and they are in the green area here. So either it's approved or not approved and you have to explicitly say that it's approved or not approved and then uh, the wires here will say that if you if you uh, if this one is true then uh, the sent construction permit uh, is true as well uh, so uh, you notice that this step is now uh, relevant it was not relevant before and uh, on this one I can carry out whatever I need to do to tell uh, the applicant about this uh, this um, construction. Now the construction permit has a lot of fields uh, in it. Uh, it's now currently evaluating the JavaScripts and uh, if you go to the send construction permit you will notice that it has uh, in the data elements it has a lot of G's. G means get so there are a lot of uh, read only or get fields on that step and uh, all these will be a part of the construction permit uh, but you can't alter them uh, in, in able to be if you were to alter them there would have to be an a for access there's only a g meaning it'll be uh, a read only field only and uh, let's see if the javascript has executed yeah it seems to be so uh, so uh, the way the application works, just to finish off, is it loads all the read-only stuff as uh, as um, as uh, collapsed groups, so you don't have to see them. There's a lot of information there. Uh, you get all the enclosures there. And there's only one, but they are read-only all of them. And then it uh, loads as expanded those groups for which you have to uh, to fill something. So if it was today that I made the decision, uh, I just leave it. It is pre-filled with today, but let's say that I actually made that decision yesterday, and it uh, automatically automatically computes that uh, there is a, a one-year uh, time window into which inside which you have to carry out the construction work. And now I may send the mail back to the applicant if it is not automatic automatically done so. 
but for demo purposes we typically do do it using the one-time invitation 